Hello people and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines Modular Builds. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Today we're going to have a look at how we can spice up our tram stops using three simple and easy tram station designs. This is very much what the modular build playlist was all about when I initially started it was how we can spice up these small little details around our city to add more personality. They can be used as kind of micro town centres within your suburbs, used to help decorate arterial roads and some of these can also function as a smaller part of a larger public transport hub. So we've got three really nice, simple and easy designs to work with today. Let's get started, shall we? So for this first design, you want to find any kind of low density suburban area. I just have a very generic suburban grid here. So this is where I'm going to place it. Now you're just going to pick out a spot as to where you want this to lie. And then we're going to take away any initial roads. They want to come onto a regular two lane road from the base game. And then we're going to draw down by a distance of 440. And then a distance across of 480. And then snap any remaining nodes that are in the way. And then you want to have a box that is this size in the middle. Clear out any of the zoning. And then just reposition your zoning around the edge. You might want to make this a little bit of commercial. A little bit of mixed use zoning. You can be creative here as to what you want to fit around this thing. But this is the general shape that we need. Then we're coming to park life and we're going to grab a small park main gate. I'm going to place this in the middle. You're then going to paint that park district out across this little square. So this park isn't used for making money. We very much just want the aesthetic of the park side gates. I'm going to place in another one directly opposite. And we're going to come into transport. We're going to come over to our tram tab. We're going to grab the tram track and draw this up through the middle. Then we'll come back into park life. Grab any kind of uh, park path that you want here. Go this up and across. And we're then going to fill out each of these four corners with the park plazas on the Park Life DLC. There is a whole bunch of different designs and themes you can take this one in. You can change out some of these corners for commercial. You can make it a little bit wider and run fencing around the perimeter. Really kind of a whole bunch of nice things you can do with this stop. In terms of decoration, it's really nice to come in with some zoo fencing if you wanted to. It's easy to do this with no snapping. And then just to draw these almost as though to kind of mark out the tram stop, you know. Just little stretches of zoo fencing like this just goes a long way to highlighting some of those smaller details. Likewise as well with some bushes. Line the fence with some bushes if you want to. A couple of different designs we can take this in. So I'll get it detailed up, surrounded with some zoning, and then we'll see how this spiced up tram stop uh, functions within a low density suburb like this. So just by generating this little dedicated square within a suburban grid somewhere, we're drawing much more attention into these little tram stop designs. Sims will actually use the park gates and he will make a small amount of money, but not the maximum amount because people can technically enter the park area via the tram tracks. So you wouldn't rely on this design to make vast amounts of money, but I think it's a really nice, super simple way of just drawing our eye a little more to those tram stops. And like I said at the start, creating a very kind of almost mini micro town centre focused around public transport. And likewise, onto any of the four sides of this square, you can add in another method, monorail, metro or train, and make a little mini public transport convergence centre. So it's a super simple design, nice and easy to follow. I love this one. This design will apply to any kind of current arterial tram road that you already have in. See, we have our tram stops here. It's not much to look at at the minute, it's just a regular tram stop on a four lane tram road. Most of us have these somewhere in our city. We're going to come into transport. We're going to grab the one way tram tracks. Of course, which way the one way system flows will depend on whether or not you're left or right hand traffic. So just adjust that as needed. We're going to come onto the grid snap and we want to save a distance of two tiles between the arterial and where we're going to draw. We're going to draw this out by a length of 10 or 450. And then repeat this on the same side here again as well. And you're then just going to draw simply back in to the arterial at a distance of 450. 
nice simple connections here, okay? And then again, just change at your orientation to be the left or right hand drive. You then want to move your tram stops onto these two roads just by clicking and dragging them. You can then upgrade this middle tram road into whatever type of arterial you want. You can go into six lane. Uh, you can use a four lane. One of the ones from Mass Transit are pretty nice. I might just go with a regular treed road here. But just something other than tram road in the middle here. That's going to be fine. And then you want to uh, decorate this thing out with uh, part life assets uh, or uh, indeed zoning. Uh, if that's what you wish, you can place in a couple of restrooms uh, either side here if you want. You can make these spaces deeper and add in uh, part life cafes or info booths. Uh, there is a nice trick if you're not near a part life area here and you just don't have a park in the area. Uh, you can actually draw in a pathway and then place in a park cafe uh, on its side orientation because it's still on a pathway. But next to a road, it still will read as connected. So if that's something you want to do. Very easily done. Again, you just draw in a road, come into that Park Life Cafe, and snap onto it. And because it's next to a road, it doesn't need the Park Life area. So you can now kind of custom build uh, these little tram stops that kind of appear around here. And of course, there's plenty of room uh, for fence detailing and other little bits and pieces that you want to do. You can then feed off pathways off of this tram stop into the rest of the surrounding suburb. So that's what I'll do. I'll get this hooked in with pathways and decorate all these empty spaces. And then we'll see what we look like once it's all finished up. So this one again, super easy to recreate. All we're doing is bringing the tram stops out onto their own tram roads and allowing the arterial to function as part of the decoration. Also brought in some farm fencing with some trees and some bushes and some overgrowth. Uh, fed the rest of the suburb in with some walking paths into those tram stops. A little bit of commercial at either side of the tram road. Some nice forest around the outskirts as well. There are lots of different things you can take this in. You can add commercial into the middle of this. Get involved with some of the other park life assets. Maybe some amusement park or some zoo stuff in there. Really kind of endless combinations. That's kind of the point of these little three simple and easy modular build format. Your own inspiration and own ideas come into this really well. And I think we can all agree it's a much more personalised part of your city rather than just having tram stuff on the arterial. We now have this little kind of tram commercial park hub that really stands out to help bring a little more attention to our trams. Okay, so third and finally, again, we're going to be working with any kind of basic vanilla uh, tram stop on a four lane arterial. We're going to come into our tram roads. So we're going to grab the one way tram track and we want all snapping on except the road guideline here. Then we're going to save a distance of two tiles between the arterial and this initial road. We're going to come out by a distance of 180 by 135 and then 180 again and come into your tram track and feed this down into the arterial. You want to then save a space of three tiles between this uh, one-way tram track and the next one that we're going to draw. And again, we're going to repeat those measurements and we can do the simple redraw trick, find out it's a distance of 180, and then just repeat those measurements either side. And then again, draw this down into the arterial road. And then what's Kind of the point of this one is you can use this as a tram interchange point or a tram terminus and to have two trams actually come and go from this area. So this is what I'm talking about right here. We now have two tram lines, a white line and a black line. So this is a good excuse to use this design as a tram terminus where people can switch between different tram lines. One goes off in another direction, the other in another direction. This is also a great opportunity to include another method of public transport in inside of this design uh, to turn it into kind of like a mini public transport hub. Uh, one of the overground metro stations works really nicely in here. Uh, you can do you know, some nice overground metro stuff if you wanted to. There's a just kind of ample opportunity to you know, turn this into a little mini uh, suburban public transport hub. Then we come into landscaping and disasters and we're going to grab the regular vanilla pavement path and then within the central alignment we're going to draw this up and you can then feed that into another part of your city you know whatever lies on that side is different for everyone and then we want to draw across and link these two together and then if you want to you can now upgrade to regular uh, part life path 
it's really kind of up to you as to you know what you want to do with this design and then from this point if you want you can also continue uh, the path border uh, all the way around uh, trim off this bit this is a great excuse to uh, factor in some kind of unique building you know if you want to bring uh, your road network down uh, to company um, this you can then you know squeeze in uh, whatever you want at the head of this thing so I'll go ahead and detail it up again using all our favorite kind of fencing and tree designs uh, get a unique building in here and uh, I might hook in another method of public transport uh, just so we can see how this functions as kind of a mini public transport hub but we'll get it detailed and then we'll see what we think so you can see now just how much of a difference adding in another method of public transport into these kind of smaller little cuter designs how much of an impact that has uh, i've just hooked in a metro line into another part of the city and there's now tons of people uh, milling around here uh, finished this particular design off with some more commercial zoning a, a little unique building the tax office at the head of the pathways again surrounded by more commercial zoning and some simple farm fence taller tree repeated bush patterns all work nicely for fleshing out the small little areas between these places but again more commercial zoning or indeed your part life assets will also work really nicely in this design as well and always super satisfying to see people walking around which is something we always love to see in city skylines Okay guys, that is going to do it for today. I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, likes, comments and shares below really help out my channel. Equally as much if you haven't enjoyed it, please feel free to leave a dislike as well. And if you'd like to help support the channel, there are links down to Instant Gaming and Patreon below if you so wish to get involved with those. These tram designs are really super simple and easy, but I hope you all agree they make a huge difference to just placing tram stops on a regular tram road, giving them a little more kind of meat and potatoes, especially like this tram terminus design here, the third and final one. It's just a lot of nicer isn't it you know it's just these little blotches of personality that we can add in around the city and you guys have really been enjoying this three simple and easy format for the modular builds so if you would like to suggest a three simple and easy design please get them down in the comments below I'm more than happy to put them together maybe you're struggling to build something specific in your city or you want a little more personality within your suburbs let me know in the comments and i will see what i can come up with otherwise hang around for some cinematics and some nice walking spice otherwise i will shut up and i will leave it there i'll thank you all so much for watching as always, enjoy the rest of your day.